pipeline coming out of the building which is coming from the compressor so that is the discharge line from the compressor containing high temperature high pressure vapor ammonia so it is going to the chamber so this cylinder or chamber is the oil separator so whatever lubricating oil was there in that compressor so that will be separated here we are having very fine droplets of oil carried along with the compressor refrigerant so those oil droplets are required to separate for condensing refrigerant otherwise that oil layer will be formed in the condenser tube and it will increase the heat resistance to heat transfer so this oil separator is having a vertical separating wall or standing from the top side reaching towards the bottom but not touching the bottom so it will be having the deflector plate so all of the content means the compressed refrigerant in the oil droplet will be spread onto the deflector plate oil droplet will form a thin film it will near that plate and those droplets will be then falling at the bottom side of the oil separator and refrigerant will be making a u turn and passing away to the next chamber or compartment now at the bottom side of this oil separator we are seeing this line so this line is for removing the oil which has been separated and collected in the oil separator so it will be periodically removed from the system in some suitable container like red zone now coming on to the refrigerant side again so here at the other end of the cylinder a larger diameter red colored pipeline is still emerging out that is having the oil separated vapor ammonia coming out of the compressor so that compressed ammonia is then going to this condenser so here we are seeing an evaporative condenser so in this evaporative condenser we can see that Larger diameter pipeline, red colored pipeline, will be reaching to the top side, and those two parts are further splitted into five parts. Two. So we are seeing that one pipe is splitted into the overall ten pipelines, and those ten pipelines are forming five. So those pipes are containing the high temperature, high pressure vapor ammonia coming from the compressor to be condensed. So to condense those vapor ammonia. Supply water from the cooling tower. So this is the cooling tower here, and the green colored pipeline are for supply of the cooling water. So the cooling water will be supplied by using this pump via these pipelines, and this pipeline is supplying the cooling water we can see in the form of fountain. So there we can see in the form of fountain at the top right we are having spray of cold water coming from the cooling tower, and that spray of cold water will be cooling the ammonia uh, vapor ammonia inside the coil, and that vapor ammonia during cooling will be sensibly as well as latently cooled. So that means there will be a drop in temperature as well as conversion of phase. So the work of condenser is specifically to liquefy the ammonia, and in addition to liquefaction. It also cools it down. High temperature ammonia is cooled to near to ambient temperature. Liquid ammonia from the condenser and then it will be collected back through a single pipeline to be sent to the receiver. Now in that water side, we are seeing that the water is open to atmosphere and while falling down, that water will be carrying away the latent heat as well as sensible heat of vapor ammonia in the coil and during that the temperature of water will rise and some amount of water will also get evaporated so the amount of water which is getting evaporated will be lost to the environment in the form of water vapor and remaining water will be falling down so the water which has been evaporated takes away sensible heat of evaporation from rest of the water and hence cooling the rest of water is falling down and hence does not let the temperature of water rise so that the same water can be recirculated For cooling of ammonia again. Now, as the water quantity is reducing, we are required to supply back the same amount of water back to the system. Otherwise, there will be emptying of the system as the time passes by. So, for that, we are having the water arrangement. So, this is the water water arrangement. From there, continuously some amount of water is continuously added to the system, so as to make up for the evaporative losses from this pump. Coming on to the Liquid ammonia. We are seeing this pipe 
side he was coming from the condenser. So there, from that side, we are seeing this line is coming from the bottom side of those coils, those can coils, and collected in this single pipeline. So that single pipeline will be coming on the floor. So this unit is a liquid ammonia receiver. So this liquid ammonia receiver. is being fed by using this pipeline and here you can see the direction of the indicated on this wall which is indicating that it is coming from top towards the bottom side so liquid ammonia will be stored into this cylindrical vessel here so this is a pressure vessel and it is storing high pressure liquid ammonia inside so as vessel is open to environment some amount of ammonia will be always evaporating inside this vessel and hence we will be adding two separate phases in this vessel. and also so there will be liquid ammonia at the bottom side and on the above the liquid and vapor interface we will be adding vapor ammonia so to draw the liquid ammonia to be supplied to evaporators we are having these pipelines here so these pipelines so this pipeline is extending towards the bottom not touching the bottom so that will be drawing the high pressure liquid ammonia from the receiver and Supplied by using these two pipelines going into the building that side to various evaporator units. So here we are seeing one more connection at this side. So this connection is for safety and it is mounted with a spring-loaded safety valve here. So we are seeing that this spring-mounted safety valve is for safety of this vessel in case if we are having very high pressure, excessive pressure, so to avoid explosion and further damage to the system is. Spring loaded safety valve will open and the ammonia will be released to the atmosphere by using this pipeline, which is open to atmosphere at the top. 